One step penalty going to be taken by. Who is it? Paul Theobald, I think. We're right, we're on video. No pressure. Oh, and that's a goal. Kieran, no chance. The ball nestles in the net and then nestles out again. What score is that? 1 0. 1 0 to the Reds. Oh. Okay, this is the uh, Unders game on the 4th of February 2020 and uh, or 2020 it's easy to say isn't it? And the sun's shining, which is, it wasn't earlier, we had a bit of drizzle in the first hour for the overs but uh, now the younger crew are here, they've got a bit of sun, there's a little bit of warmth in it, not much, the wind's dropped. Adrian Jones stands on the ball, pulls it back, gives it to Robert Lake, ever reliable Rob Lake. John Gaskin farms it out to the right hand side, it's Martin Heath. Hadge has just changed teams because it's actually uh, 8v7 or 9v8, I forget now. It's a decent sized pitch, can just about cope with the numbers. We're not on three touch this morning. That fence has claimed two or three balls lately. I've just noticed a brand new Forza ball. We've not had it long, that's got a chunk out of it. Uh, wear and tear when all said and done. Fortunately, we can always replace. Ooh, I'm not sure what that was. Well, I know what it was, but it's, it's, he could give a penalty for that under our rules, I suppose. It was a bit uh, careless. Yeah, the referee's just saying that. Would have had another half yard on him. It'd have. Uh, Awarded a penalty there, but it's a free kick. Free kick to Blues. Michael Caldwell. Short, shuffling steps. He's got a unique gait. The about legal most of the time. Bemrose. Terry Harrison finds Adrian Jones on the left. Nixon shouting for it on the right. Gets it eventually via Bemrose. Kick into the reds and it's Joe Bemrose. Familiar figure. Long hair. Back in 
Martin Heath on the ball. Plays it back to Phil Livesey. Square to Rob Lake going forward now. Blues keeping possession. Oh, a great ball. Terry Harrison tries to dink Partington, but uh, he can't quite manage it. That difficult to dink when he's standing up. There's Lake now. Livesey making strides forward. Plays the ball out to Martin Heath. Back to Livesey. Bit quick that from Nixon, but the referees let it go. Livesey plays it out, Jones shouts for it, doesn't get it. Nixon comes away for Reds. Plays it out to Theobald. And Cooper now, measured. Calm in possession. Plays it across, Steve Foster. Steve Foster. He ignores the call from behind, tries to find another player, but he doesn't quite manage it, and it hits the referee. The referee, uh, rightly, gives the ball back to the team that had possession. That's the uh, letter of the law applied perfectly by referee Mr Pierce. Terry Harrison intercepted by Cooper played back but doesn't find a man keeper can't get it it's a corner ball Adrian Jones trots over to take it the crown point end what can he cook up here with Martin Heath Wearing the Striders shirt underneath his blue bib. Martin is a more akin to red and white stripes. He's a Stoke City fan, as we've said before. A potter. No doubt late of the Boothen end at Victoria Ground. Made several visits there as a City fan in the late 60s. Hitchhiking to games, I remember a couple. Took us a bloody eternity to get there. Reminder from the ref for Theobald to walk and he does walk and he plays the ball there. But Blues come away with it and this is Harrison, he'd do well to remember to walk himself. Adrian trying to beat Hadge. Put that goes wide under the body of the goalkeeper and there's a corner kick. This is Heath to Jones again, the same combination that took the corner on the other side. Trying their luck on the right. Good shout from Nixon. Had found the gap. Attacking ambitions thwarted though, and he goes back to Foster. Reds just knocking the ball about, keeping possession. I think it's still 1 0 to Reds, a penalty in the first half. Livesey tries one, well gathered by Partington, 
given overhead by the referee. Free kick to Reds. Goalkeeper pleading for simplicity there from Reds. Simple approach, pass and move. It's not a three touch game this, but uh, it's the same principle. Most of these players here are all accomplished in the three touch game. There's no, uh, nobody really who likes to keep possession just for the sake of it on the pitch today. Ball. Keep possession of it, eh? Right, Goalkeeper gets the ball back. Right, two in. Two in. Time, Handheld time, camera, time. this, so apologies if there's a slight right. wobble. I've not got the tripod with me today. Goes again. Goes again. Didn't intend to. Uh, Film really, just an impromptu little film. This played in the uh, the first game, which was a 2-2 sweeper keeper, and then a refereed the second sweeper keeper, which I think was a 1-1 from memory. Play so many games in such a short space of time, you tend to forget. Well, I do anyway. Bemrose, left foot, blocked, cannons off somebody. Darren Sullivan, youngest player on the field, far side, 50-51-ish. Play a little bit ragged, I think you might agree at times. But we don't claim to be uh, we don't claim to be any good, but on the other hand, I think we're not bad. At least that's my perspective anyway. Half decent players, most of us. Oh, that's a good shot from Theobald. He's got a good dig on him. And that's what can set a player apart in this game because there's a few players here. Decent on the ball, decent in possession, but they've not got power in the legs to launch a shot like that. And that's what, uh, that's what you often need. Three or four exceptions here on the pitch this morning. Lads who can hit a ball. Oh, and that's a goal. Is that a goal? Too busy gassing. We'll have to find out later who scored that. I think it was Caldwell. So that's 2 0 now to the Reds. Well, that's a good time to uh, draw a line under it. I carry on packing away the gear. We'll give it another minute. Ooh, contact there. Red on blue. Eagerness, enthusiasm, and exuberance. The three E's. Oh. 
Oh, he did well there. Just about kept on the walking end of walking. And he goes past the man and finds Bemrose with his left peg. No.